Hello, I'm Robin Vincent and welcome to Malta Music Technology. Today, we're talking about Instagram television. We're talking about vertical videos. How do you do that? How do you make a vertical video that's of high quality for the new Instagram telly? Because it's all very well making it on your phone, that's fine, but is that the level of quality that we're after? You know, if you're trying to put out a decent video of the music that you are making or something of that nature, you don't really want 10 minutes of shaky cam and poor quality phone audio. That's all right for a one minute clip on Instagram, but for Instagram telly, you kind of want to do something a bit more special. And so for that, I want to be using my SLR camera. So in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to shoot a vertical video on your SLR and edit it in Sony Vegas or any other piece of editing software and send it up to Instagram telly. It's not hard, but it's taken me all morning to do my first one, so I thought I would share my experience with you to make it easier for other video content creators to get it done. Is it a good thing? Is it a good format? Well, I have absolutely no idea, but let's give it a go. So your next question then is, how do you set up your vertical shot? Well, if you've got a posh tripod like I have here, it actually has no facility to flip over because what I want to do is mount my camera this way around rather than the usual this way around. So how do I achieve that? Now you may well have a, a, a system, either something which plugs on the bottom or a tripod, which does flip up and makes that easy. But what I've done here is simply loosened it and pushed the whole thing up onto its side, like so, and then attach the camera here. I had to put the tripod plate at 90 degrees to how I normally do it in order to get this to work. Like so. The only problem now is that I don't have any tilt. I can pan from side to side, but I have no tilt. So in order to cope with that, I have to put this at a slightly different angle. So that I'm pointing down slightly, it goes back into there. So it's now panning and viewing my modular system, which is what I'm attempting to film at a much better angle. So there's just a quick tip there. I'm sure there's plenty of other camera experts out there who can give you more advice, but this is what we're gonna to use to shoot our vertical video. Now you could shoot in landscape and then, you know, crop it, but then you're wasting all of the resolution of your camera. You wanna use the whole lot. And so a vertical filming approach like this is definitely the answer. So you've taken your film, Let's stuff it into the editing software. So my video editing software of choice is Sony Vegas, or it's not Sony anymore, it's Magic's Vegas Pro. But what we're gonna do in here will be very similar for whatever video editing software you're using. So I'm gonna drag in the video that I shot and stick it on the timeline. And here we have it, it's the wrong way up, obviously, because as far as the video editing software is concerned, we shot it in landscape like you always do. Within Vegas, I can't find any settings for a portrait mode of any kind. So we're just gonna have to, to dive in a little bit and change some settings. So the first thing we need to do is change the project settings so that it's in a vertical orientation. Within Vegas, you go to File, Properties, and we adjust the video template. Because I'm editing in HD, the video settings are usually a width of 1920 pixels by a height of 1080 pixels. We need to change that around so that it becomes the other way up. So the width is now 1080 and the height is 1920. So now we have our orientation right as far as the video editing goes, but our video content itself is still the wrong way around. Now we need to go into the event pan and crop settings for our video clip. To bring those up and we're going to need to change the position and the rotation because the position is wrong and the rotation is wrong so both of those things need to be changed. The width and the height is currently set to 1920 and 1080 so we need to reverse those. Make sure before you do this that the lock aspect ratio is off. So at the top put 1080, next one 1920. 
So now the size of the video is correct, it just needs to be turned around. So if we go down to angle, stick in 90 degrees and try that. Yeah, that's not quite right. That's now completely upside down, but that's because of the orientation of the camera. You have it one way up, then that will work. If you have it the other way up, it's got to go the other way. So if we stick in minus 90 degrees, that'll rotate it to the right way. And now you can see in the preview window, we have our lovely vertical video. <laughs> Yeah, it looks weird, but that's Instagram for you. Now, the next thing you need to do is render it. It's all very well having it set here, but when you go to your render options, you're also not going to find a portrait mode, particularly or unlikely. So we go to render as within Vegas. That brings us to loads and loads and loads and loads of different options, none of which are in the right frame. So pick the one which you normally use and go to customize template. So this one is HD 1080, which gives me a frame size of 1920 by 1080 again. We need to change that. So select custom frame size, and then we need to put in the right corresponding width and height again. Are you seeing a bit of a pattern here? I think there's a bit of a pattern. 1080 and 1920. Now all your other settings can remain the same because you still want the same sort of rendering, you still want the same uh, aspect ratio and field order and variable bit rates and so on and so forth. So it's only the frame size that you need to change. And once you've rendered that out, you've then got your beautiful vertical video. And of course, the great thing about doing this on a proper camera and in proper software, like you wouldn't normally do it in Instagram, is that you can apply uh, credits or overlays and effects and mix stuff together and do whole enormous properly produced projects and stick them in Instagram, which is great, hooray. So in order to upload your new video to IGTV, you need to have created a channel, which you do in the app. You just go to IGTV and hit create channel. It is kind of that simple. And then hopefully you'll get an upload button within the Instagram web browser. And that's enormously helpful because you don't have to put the video on your phone in order to upload it to the app. However, at the time of filming this, not everyone seems to have that option. So in my Instagram account, where you should find it, there should be here an IGTV button. You know, I might be a little telly, something like that. It should be there. You can click on it and then you've got an upload button and you can upload video from your browser on your PC or your Mac. And it's a done deal. It's good. It's a goer. It's done. Awesome. I don't seem to have that button. As far as I understand it, it's just taking them time to roll this thing out. So hopefully that button at some point will appear. So in the meantime, the best way I found was to stick it up to something like OneDrive or your iCloud account and then download it using files on your iPhone and then saving it as a video so it appears in your camera roll. Because if you're trying to add a video in the app on your iPhone, it will only give you access to your camera roll. Then you can upload it directly from your phone rather than having to worry about doing it through a browser. But ultimately, as Instagram sorts this out, you should get an upload button on the browser version of Instagram.com that will make the whole thing far, far easier. So in a nutshell, use your posh camera, use it on its side, change the width and height settings in your video editing software, and also when you render it, and it's a good one. Instagram telly. So there you go, I told you it was easy, just requires a little bit of thought, and of course we now need to think very differently about how we shoot things and set up things. Are we gonna now do it twice? Are we gonna have to do it in a landscape and then in a vertical, but then at the moment there's no sort of monetization in the Instagram model. And so for us creators, is it actually worth our time? I don't know, I like Instagram, generally speaking, and would I use it to look at longer videos? I don't know, maybe, but certainly for performances, for, for jams, for improvisation, for little videos of stuff that I'm just doing as I go along, then, it could be good, but then the, the faff and the having to set up the camera and then having to tweak it in the 
editing software and all that sort of jazz, is that really worth the time? I don't know. I'm just going to see how it goes. I hope you see how it goes too. And in the meantime, go and make some vertical tunes. <laughs>